Hi, I'm Jen Brisman, and I'd like to introduce you to FollowSpot, a comprehensive audition tracking web application for entertainment professionals. Building this application bridged the gap between my career as an actress in New York City and my newfound love of software engineering. Let's dive in. Upon successful registration, I have integrated the Twilio API to send the user an SMS message confirming their connection to the app. Welcome to FollowSpot. I greet the user by displaying their audition timeline, a collection of thoughtfully designed cards which contain all the information about a specific audition. I built the back end of this application in Flask and Python and created a RESTful API that uses SQL Alchemy to connect to a Postgres database. To develop a responsive and user-friendly interface, I styled FollowSpot with Bootstrap and my own custom CSS. My design uses Jinja templating to dynamically load the data onto individual cards, which I've sorted in reverse chronological order. To filter through the cards, I developed a search feature by adding a JavaScript event listener that evaluates keystrokes to hide the cards that don't contain text matching the query string. This is one of my favorite features of FollowSpot. For an organized person like myself, this is a complete dream. With a few simple keystrokes, all non-essential information disappears asynchronously and dynamically. Also, the color tags surrounding the industry on each card are displayed programmatically upon querying the database and correspond with the colors on the charted statistics we will get to later. To collect the user's data, I built a responsive form which provides intuitive prompts, the first of which is whether the audition is an initial audition or a callback, which in the entertainment industry means a subsequent audition for the same job, not to be confused with a callback function. When a user clicks on the callback button, an on-click event triggers a dropdown to appear with previously logged projects, which the user can then select. I implemented jQuery to auto-populate certain text fields with response data returned from my server via a GET request made to my API. I also implemented Google's Map and Places API with their Place Autocomplete service. Then comes the media, introducing the big kahuna, my most aggressively used API, Cloudinary. By integrating Cloudinary's Media Management API, I am able to offer the user the option of uploading any number or type of media files pertaining to their audition. Adjusting the logic within the Cloudinary API to fit the needs of FollowSpot proved to be challenging but rewarding. In order to correctly populate the tables in my database, promises returned from both my API and Cloudinary's needed to be handled in a synchronized manner using a series of async await fetch requests. I originally wrote this code with a series of nested fetches, but refactoring with async await allowed me to store the responses in variables. Finally, I use the Chart.js data visualization library to build statistical representations of the user's auditions. The bar chart represents the total number of auditions logged by the user over time, while the two donut charts break auditions down by industry and agency. I was able to display the data by month and by year while giving each year its own color by putting the data into a nested object and parsing through it. Moving forward, I will be continuing to develop my application's use of the Twilio API to allow users to better share an audition card via SMS. For more information on other features in development, please visit my GitHub or connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you for taking the time to learn about FollowSpot.